questions? Um, first, Robert would like to make an announcement on behalf of his fighter. If everyone can please be quiet. Thank you. You know, let everybody know that, uh, you know, Virgil's fine, but uh, the, the, the Nevada Commission told us that it's best for him to go get checked in the hospital. So he, they took him right now. He's, he walked to the to the uh, ambulance and everything, but it was just a requirement that uh, that was brought up by the commission. Virgil was responding everything clearly and uh, and told them that he felt good, but uh, they said he still want you to go because it's something that is required because you know, of uh, the type of fight that he was involved in. All right, some questions here. Robert, congratulations on the win. Going into, let's say, the championship rounds 10, 11, and 12, number one, did you feel as though that's, this fight was in the balance, and what was your overall message to Virgil? Oh, we knew, we knew it was a close fight. Uh, you know, the uh, they came to fight, he was prepared better than ever, you know. Honestly, he, uh, he came in prepared, he came in to fight all 12 rounds very hard. You know, he took a lot of punishment too, and uh, and uh, I gotta give you know give him respect and credit for for the top of fight that he put he put up. I think uh, I think uh, coming to the last three rounds, we did uh, we did push uh, Virgil to need to win this round, especially because of those two knockdowns that were that were counter. You know, we uh, we knew the fight had to be close because you know every round. Uh, was very close, you know, so we so we had to push him to finish strong. Robert, is there any surprise you in any way technically with the jab and the long right hand? He did. That, that's what I'm telling you. you know, he he uh, he surprised us. I think they uh, they did a great job in his training camp. Uh, his trainers, everybody involved, did a great job. Uh, we got to you know give give them all the all the respect because they they did a great job. Hi, Robert. Do you hi? hi. Do you feel like maybe the emotion, the emotion from yesterday, kind of got to him, and he was a little reckless coming into this fight because of the emotional, you know, from 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 the weigh-in? Could could have been, you know, but uh, you know, before, after that, after what happened after the weigh-ins, you know, he said, "Don't worry about it. We'll I'll be fine." So mentally, he he was fine, but it definitely could have could have had something to do with it. But uh, at the end, you know, I, I can't I can't say. That, Put up excuses. I think uh, Sergey put up a great fight. He was in great shape. Uh, his team did a great job. Okay. Okay. Robert, uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, you know, it was a very close fight. Uh, Sergey was super tough. He, he kind of could never got him down. I want to say at the end of the eleventh, I want to say Virgil kind of like got frustrated because he hurt him and he just just wouldn't go down. Just. Uh, Talk to me about just Virgil's kind of mental state going throughout the fight. Kind of seems like one of the first times ever, right, that he's put hands on people and, and they haven't gone away. Well, look, uh, this is the first time he goes, you know, the distance and, and, and in a tough fight. So it, this is all a learning experience for him, too. He's never done it before. He's never been involved in that in those type of fights. So this is definitely going to help him. He's going to learn a lot. Uh, he. Uh, he did, you know, he followed instructions, he did what he was told, you know, there was those moments where we would remind him, you know, you can't, you know, you, you gotta be careful, you know, that right hand, you know, keep that left hand up, stuff like that, but, you know, at the end, you know, we were pleased with, with, with this performance. Uh, obviously, could have done better, could have been better, but it's all a learning experience, man, you know, this, this, this is the way boxing is, you know, not every fight's gonna be easy, especially when it comes to title fights, they're all gonna be hard. Robert, congratulations to the other specimen in sausage of Uh You just mentioned in the last three rounds, uh, they said on the telecast, or actually you said that you need to win these last three rounds. Did you know that you guys were down uh, based on the fight? No, or I did not know. I, you know, but but it's it's you know I don't, I'm not I'm not watching the scorecard, so so I have no idea. Not, not the scorecards, but based on how it's for no, I no, no, was performing. No, no, not at okay. all. But 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 uh, but look, it's also. But I knew the fight was close. You know, I knew the fight was close. So we have to motivate our fighter, push them to, to finish strong, especially those last two or three rounds. You know, we can't, we can't tell them you, you're ahead, or, you know, take it easy and, and lose the rounds and then lose the fight. No, we have to push them, especially when we know the fight's so close and the fight's so, so, uh, so tough. You gotta, you know, we gotta motivate them to finish strong and, and, and make sure you win these rounds because, uh, you know, we, we knew the fight was close. Robert, eh, Restado de López Juan Oxo, saludos. Eh, vienes de dos semanas maravillosas, lo, lo del rayo, eh, por supuesto, bestial, pero esta pelea, quiero que me expliques primero la situación que decías en inglés de cómo está Belgi, eh, que no puede estar aquí, pero también 
¿Qué significa este combate para Robert García y para Belgin Ortiz? Una pareja que se reúne nuevamente y que enfrenta para mí la, la pelea más complicada de Belgin Ortiz hasta el momento. Pues mira, este Virgil tuvo que salir al hospital porque la comisión le dijo que era un hombre exquisito después de una pelea tan, tan dura, una guerra de donde, donde recibió golpes. Uh, le pidieron que tenía que ir, aunque, aunque él pidió que no... Que, no, que se sentía bien, que él pueda quedarse, dijeron que no, que querían que fuera, así que él se fue caminando y, y se fue, subió al carro y, y se lo llevaron y, y todo va a salir bien, me imagino, pero, pero sí fue un requisito, así que no fue, no fue algo que tuvo que obligadamente tener que ir, fue un requisito que le pidieron para hacerle chequeado, si es, es normalmente, los golpes no están fáciles y, y, y pienso que es lo mejor, en verdad, yo desde antes de la, de la decisión, yo, aunque, aunque, no, aunque la comisión no lo hubiera no lo había pedido, yo le dije al papá, le dije al papá, hay que llevarlo al doctor, porque fue una pelea muy dura, y él nunca había estado envuelto en algo así, así que tenemos que tener esas precauciones. ¿Y la pelea para ti? Eh, la, pelea para la, pelea, la, más dura. No, la pelea estuvo muy dura, pero son peleas de las que se aprende, se, se, se aprende mucho porque él nunca había estado en una situación de estas, él nunca había estado en una situación donde, donde se le pone difícil, donde sabemos que la puntuación debe estar muy cerrada, por las, especialmente por las dos caídas, que, que por alguna parte u otra uh, nosotros podemos pensar que no... Que no, que no deberían de haber contado, pero también sí, hubo un golpecito y se tropezó, se resbaló y cualquier cosa, pues sí, ya lo hemos visto, mira, que anteriormente se cuenta como caída, porque sí, 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 sí lo tocaron, aunque él, él sabe, que él mismo nos dijo que no, se las, que no estaba lastimado, pero bueno, contaron, así que con eso, con más razón, tenemos que empujarlo a terminar más fuerte de los, de los últimos tres asaltos. Gracias, felicidades. Robert, Gail Falkenthal, New York Congratulations. Gracias, Gail. Uh, even before this fight took place, During the car tonight and after, a lot of talk about what the plans were for Virgil. A lot of people have a lot of different plans for him. I'm sure you've heard them. What would you like to see happen in the next few months for him? And how much input would you have in that In the next few months, I think he's going to have to rest and, and, and enjoy his, his family, go back home and, and, and take some time off because this, this was a brutal fight. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you know, there's, there's great plans. You know, uh, Uh, Rick Morgan, Golden Book Promotions, The Zone. I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna uh, pick pick the pick the biggest fight out there for him. I I also I also believe that uh, that Virgil is is, uh, is 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 in a moment where he needed something like this to learn and and to be ready for those for those big fights because every fight has been I can't say easy because you know you know it, it's kind of offending his opponents but. Uh, But he's he's comfortably comfortably won most all of his fights by knockout. So so this was a good learning experience for him, for me, for his dad, for the whole team. You know, we have to learn from this. Robert, congratulations. Um, I know that you you don't like to like you know, live in the spotlight. You you'd like to give credit to your fighters and the people around you, but just with the way Ryle won last week and then this fight, you know, in a close fight, just. What does it say about you as a trainer to say what you do at the Rocker Boxing Academy for all the fighters? You know what, I, I think uh, what it says is that uh, I have a great team because I, I couldn't do it by myself. I, I never do it by myself. I can say, I can take all the credit. I can say I'm doing it by myself because I'd be lying. You know, I, you know, with, with Rayo, you know, we, we have his, uh, his coach from the beginning since, since he was 11 years old. You know, Mario, I have to give him all the credit because, you know, they came to me, believed in me, and, 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 and were able to, to adapt with me. But, uh, you know, but, you know, it wasn't me by myself, you know, with, you know, Charles Tramley, who's our conditioning coach, he prepares every single one of my fighters, and they're, they all, they're always in great shape. All my fighters are in great shape, and all that, I have to give credit to, to Charles Tramley. You know, with Virgil, Virgil Sr., since he was a baby, you know, he's been, he's raised to become what he is. Uh, Hector Beltran, Pete, Tanchepe, Felipe, you know, I have to give credit to everybody. I can't, I can't take credit by myself. So, you know, all those wins, all these wins are, 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 are not mine, they're our GPAs, you know, and uh, I also want to give credit to my dad because if it wasn't for my dad being in the gym every day during sparring matches, I think they wouldn't be the same, you know, everybody enjoys seeing my dad there, so I have to give credit to everybody, I can't take credit for myself. Robert, uh, congratulations, great win. Uh, Turkey Al Sheik says that he'd like uh, him to fight Terrence Crawford. Are you okay with that fight as his trainer? Is that a fight you think he's you know ready what? for? It's, it's, it's something we have to talk about, we have to consider, but yes, I, I'm okay with the fight. You know, 
obviously with enough time, you know, we can't, you know, we have to know that Rajun needs some, some time off. You know, he's got he's got to rest and uh, and enjoy some, some time off. You see, he, he deserves it. He earned it. But uh, but yeah, you know, it's 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 a fight that uh, that we we are we will be after. You know, that's that's the fight that that we would like, and uh, hopefully Rick Morgan, uh Golden Boy, you know, uh, Turkey. Hopefully they put it together. Hopefully Crawford also. You know, he's okay with the fight. I don't know what his plans are. You know, he's chasing a Canelo fight. I don't know if he'll get that. He might get it. I don't know. You know, you know what I mean. So we have to also see what 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 the plans are for him. He proved so much tonight in the ring. I mean, going the distance, coming back from the two knockdowns. What did he prove to you? You know what? Uh, that was the uh, that was one of those fights where where the fighter, you know, where all we've seen from him is knockouts. Make, making fights so easy, knocking everybody out, but getting into this fight and, and getting into the, the top of war and, and, and the late rounds where where he's tired, he's taking some punishment, but he still has the heart, the, the, the mentality to, to finish strong and to, and to listen. You need these rounds. Uh, that just says, says a lot about a, a, a fighter, you know, not just a fighter, a person, you know. There's so many fighters that we've worked with that we've had that won't, won't be able to do that in the ring because you know it's just almost impossible. He just does what, what whatever it takes to to pull it up. That's his mentality. That's his heart. Okay, last question, Marcos. Robert, back over here. So I don't have a mic. Uh, just seeing, you know, that it was a well, two part question. Seeing that it was such a hard fight, brutal fight. Uh, I know Turkey and Oscar want him to face Crawford, but would you guys be willing to do a rematch? Look, uh, the rematch is, is something that yeah, we could also consider. It was a great fight. It was a very close fight, you know. So definitely, uh, if if, if, uh, if the offer is there and Crawford is not available, then yeah, why not? Why not rematch? You know, definitely, <laughs> Sergey deserves the rematch. You know, he, he fought his, his, his ass off too. You know, he he came in and surprised the world. You know, because very few, very few expected him to fight like that and to give that type of fight. You know, so. Definitely deserves a rematch. And the other part is, do you want to wait some time to go into a Crawford fight? Like you as a trainer, would you rather have some more time to get into that fight? You know what? It's something that we have to consider with with the team. You know, it's not it's not my decision either. You know, it's about the whole team. But uh, but yeah, you know, it, it, it's a big fight. It's it, it's a fight that that we would uh, that we would really really love to happen. You know, it, it, it's totally different styles. You know, I think. Styles make fights, and this fight turned out to be very tough because just the way that we see getting fights, you know, his style. I think Crawford is, is also a great fighter and and pound for pound one of the best in the world. But it, it's it, I think it'll, I think both could put up a great fight also. All right, thank you, Manny. Thank you, Oscar.